Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten to here, uh, had discovered there was a workbench over here and a droid uh, repair guy here. Uh, not here for that, but I was testing some of the things involving the workbench and i think i came across a bug kind of just say the word so we all know well what i've set kreia's uh repair to is actually rather high it's 14 uh mainly due to the fact that i have the points for it the problem therein is that the workbench is based off of repair. I also learned uh, a little bit about how the lab station works. That is based off of treat injury. That's why I'm able to get so many chemicals out of breaking things down there. The problem seems to be I can't break down these for a higher number of components than I really should be able to. Most of this I should be able to get a lot more components for. But I don't seem to be able to. And I'm not quite sure I understand why. As the way I understand it, most of it should be giving me a lot of components based on her skill. Or at least more components than I'm getting out of it. Because this has a repair, rather a component uh, con creation cost, for lack of a better phrase. Um, because my mouth stumbled over the word in the first place. Um, it has a cost of 5. Now, with her skill being 14, I should be getting at least 3, if not 4, back. But I don't. When you go back to Breakdown for Mullenine Edge, I only get 1. That doesn't make sense. Now, I'm perfectly willing to assume that it is a bug with the port, possibly. There were bugs with the previous port of KOTOR, where apparently using uh, double-bladed weapons in melee, um, like the lightsaber and... Uh, things of that nature um apparently didn't need the two weapon fighting even though it's supposed to maybe it's a similar bug in that respect but i'm not sure i'm not sure all i can say is it's annoying but anyway we're going to move on and uh since i figured that out I'm going to be done with that for the moment. And I guess I'll break into this apartment. Because <laughs> that was impossible. What? But I can bust it down, right? <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Well, I guess I can bust it down. I don't know why I'm busting it down, but I'm busting it down. To go into an empty room. Well. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a waste of time. Alrighty, so... Majority of this episode's start has been a waste of time. More or less. Fantastic. Alright, these are... Alright. <laughs> where I was supposed to go. That's right. Where I was supposed to go. Um... I don't actually remember. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I'm already a mess. Okay. Uh, yes, I dealt with Lopax, Lusk, and Luska. So I guess I go back to the Athorians and tell them about it. I guess that's what I can do. It's probably a good idea. Since uh, 
The exchange has been broken. The back of the exchange has been broken, I should say. At least on Citadel Station. I'm not sure if elsewhere it's broken, but it's broken here, and that's the important part. So, we're going to move on and talk to them, because I'm sure that's really the only option I have. At least I think. Chodo Habat. You have returned safely. Did your meeting with Lopak Slusk go well? Ah, uh, I can still talk about the blaster, I guess. That's weird. Okay, the exchange will trouble you no longer. I sense that your meeting did not go peacefully. It saddens me greatly that blood was shed. It was not my intention to cause harm. Still, I am again in your debt. Until we find a more fitting way to commend you, please accept this humble gift. It came from a lightsaber that belonged to a Jedi once of my herd. Really? It came from... So it's not the lightsaber, but it's a part of it? Consider it an investment in Telos. I don't want to do that. I want to get a lightsaber as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What remains to be done? For the restoration project to continue in earnest, the Telosian government must be made to see the cancer that a Zerka has become. Their security division is merely an army of badge-bearing thugs. They supply weapons to the local black market. They steal restoration zones and land illegal salvage teams on Telos. But Zerka has embedded itself within the government, using Telos' own laws to protect itself from censure or investigation. Legally, the Telosians can do nothing. If you can bring Zerka's cor corruption to light, perhaps the Republic could intervene and cast them out. This is what I would ask of you. How did they embed themselves in in the first place? That's a little... complicated. The Telosian government initially welcomed Zerka's presence. The corporation offered Citadel Station inexpensive resources and affordable privatized security. Uh, so they made them seem they made themselves seem indispensable. And now they basically have them by the balls. I think I understand now. Basically every corporate trick ever known basically that okay all right fair enough i'll help you the zerka offices in residential 082 contain a secure mainframe it is a closed system inaccessible from outside so it can't be sliced correct we have skilled technicians among us but they cannot access the system i am certain this mainframe contains files that would expose zerka's corruption it is only a matter of obtaining and then passing them on to the telosian authorities Okay, how do you propose we obtain these files? There's a Zerka employee who may be willing to assist us in our cause. He spends his time in the cantina in the entertainment module. More than that, I do not know. We seek a solution that sees no one harmed, but I have found none. I am confident that a Jedi could find a way to make things right, but... Hmm... Have you tried bribing a Zerka employee? Bribery? No. I would not know who to contact. And I am worried. We have been taken advantage of many times of late. Can you guarantee the bribe will work? <laughs> I could basically just lie to them and tell them I know who to get it done. <laughs> and I could just pocket the money. Wow, this game gives you so many opportunities to just be an entire level of douchebag above what you think is possible. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure, but we should try. If you say so, then I will follow your judgment. Here are 500 credits. It is all we have to spare. Smooth. I will see what I can do. There is an employee of Zerka who may be willing to assist us in our cause. He spends his time in the cantina in the entertainment module. I know who it is. I'm sorry there is not more I can do, but I hope for your success. Energy cell fixture. Okay, so basically the part that powers it. Good. I get credits to do the bribe and 700 points of experience. Hells yes. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here.
and head over to the entertainment module. Booyah. There we go. I thought I had more time from the loading. <laughs> I was trying to take a drink of my energy drink. And I thought I had more time with the loading. I didn't. Let's talk to Corin. So you're back. Yeah, I'm back. What can you tell me about Zerka? What's there to say? We're the only corporation with a branch on Citadel Station. Getting in early, as they say. Yeah. If Silos thing pans out, we could be in a great position. If Lorso doesn't screw it up, that is. Mm-hmm. Tell me about Lorso. Yeah, Gianna Lorso. That woman's a... <laughs> Look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. How do you think she'll mess up? She's got her hands in too many dirty little... Yep, we've went through this before. Oh, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. Mm, I think I have a solution to your problem. What? What do you mean? Hmm... There are some files I'd like to get my hands on. Files I imagine wouldn't make her look good if they went public. Wait, are you talking about accessing the mainframe? The Zerka mainframe? You're crazy. What are you, some kind of slicer? I'm just looking for some dirt. That's all. Well, I'm sure there are a dozen sorts of dirt on Lorso in there, but it's a closed system. A closed system? It means you can't get in remotely. You've got to actually be in front of the mainframe to access it. So how do I get in? This is a joke, right? You're CSD, aren't you? Loyalty test? I could force persuade, or I could just normal persuade. Of course not. Look, our goals are compatible. I want dirt on Zerka. And I want Jenna Lorso looking dirty. Alright, other than Jenna Lorso, only B-44 has free access to the mainframe. Hmm. It's a protocol droid for administrative assistance. If you control B-44, you could walk right in. But how would I get access to B4-D4? Nearly all the Zerka technicians are planet side these days, working the recovery zones we've taken from the Athorians. Mm. We've contracted out the maintenance for the office's protocol and utility droids. The guy Chano lives in the apartments in Residential 082, Unit 2B. Chano. If you had his credentials, B44 would leave with you willingly. All right, I'll be going now. And I didn't even need to use the bribe. I am so good. <laughs> I wonder if I can hand that back to him. I wonder if it's possible. <laughs> it's probably not. Uh, transit to another module. Let's go to the Athorian compound and test my theory. Because I don't actually know. If it's possible or not. It would be probably a nice thing. And probably a good way to get my, you know light side points up if it's possible but i'm not sure if they thought that far ahead they probably didn't ah you have returned i may have found a solution to our problem yes please go on zerka's administrative assistant is a protocol droid if we could steal that droid and reprogram it then it could access the zerka mainframe manually gather the files and give them to us quite brilliant do not concern yourself with the reprogramming. My herd contains technicians who can perform the procedure once the droid is brought here. I'll return later with the droid. So I just give him a status update. I, I can't even give him the bribe back. Aww. Aww. <laughs> uh, it, would have been, it would have been cool if they had thought that far ahead, but I understand why they didn't. I understand. It would have been so cool, though. It would have been fucking fantastic, man. Like, thinking that far ahead. But I'm sure there might have been code, uh, time restraints with the coding and whatnot. But still, it would have been awesome. It would have been awesome. And this is not where that guy is. He's over here. 
Or at least I think. Because he's a robot technician. So, I mean... Chano! Yes, that's the guy I was looking for. Do you need a droid repaired? Because if not, I have much to do. I want your droid technician credentials. My credentials? What for? I need to borrow Zerka's administrative droid. B4D4? But why? Because I need him to get some files from Zerka's mainframe to expose Zerka's corruption to the Telosian authorities. If you ask why one more time, I'm going to hurt you. Expose Zerka's corruption? Oh, I see, I see. That is a good cause, yes. I cannot do that. Boy. You agree with me that it's a good cause. You asked all these questions, and I answered you. Honestly. What the fuck do you mean you can't do that? Why not? Because I cannot afford to jeopardize my contract with Zerka. Your contract? Why is that? I need the credits. Credits? What for? For... for a loan. A loan? From who? It is no concern of yours. Oh, I answered all your questions. I got that. <laughs> I get that response. Hey, I answered all of your questions. Yes, this is true. I took a loan from the exchange to cover gambling debts. I had to, st I had to stay on Sidlil Station to do freelance technical work to repay it. The Zerka contract is my best paying. If I lose the contract, I cannot repay the loan. If I cannot repay the loan, the exchange will kill me. So I cannot give you my credentials. Well, funny. You should bring up that point, actually. You could say that. Um, give you an extension. Uh, I could just repay it. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Slusk and Lusksa are dead, and the exchange is in disarray. They won't enforce your debt. If only. My loan is owed to Goto, the exchange boss on Narshida. I'll be dead before he lets the debt go. Whoa. <laughs> that is very dark sidey. Uh, I could give you an extension on your loan. You, you would do this? So I could repay you later? It is many credits. 2,500. Mm. I've never known that this was an option. An extension. An extension. Would he ever pay this back? Is the question? I honestly don't know. I honestly have no idea. I'm half tempted just to open up a window and find out, honestly. <laughs> Damn it, I want to I want to look and see. I want to look and see. I just want to see. I might not do it, but I want to see. Give me a moment. I want to know. I have to know. I have to know. Okay. So I looked it up. It is actually a viable option. And he will give me the credits back. Pretty much the next time I come back. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll get the credits back. It's literally just an extension on a loan that he then repays to me. It's a win-win. And I get to use the 500 I got from the Athorians for actually a proper bribe. So, I mean, technically, I also fulfill that one. Technically. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Thank you. Now I can repay my debt, and you can take my droid technician credentials if I could only talk English today. I will find more work soon. Please return later, and I will repay you. Okay, that's dark sidey. Uh, I'll come back later then. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Good. Good, 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 good. And I still get light side points for it too. I can't lose. I can't lose. I probably would get more by telling him to keep it, but I don't want to do that. Like at all. Um Oh wait, I'm in the same I'm in the same area. What am I doing? I'm a doofus. That's doofus behavior what I did. Zerka Corporation, I'm heading to the offices for the first time. Your alignment can affect the alignment okay. of your companions. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Ah, uh, I need you to come with me. I am sorry, but I cannot accompany you. I may only leave the Zerka offices for maintenance by an authorized Zerka or Zerka contracted droid technician. Well, I have those credentials right here. Those are legitimate credentials. I will accompany you. Cool. Let's go now. Bye, Jana. <laughs> ah, this is Zerka's protocol droid. A most clever tactic. I'll have a droid technician reprogram it to return to their offices and access the mainframe for us. Beautiful. Everything appears to be in working order. Good. Do you understand the task that has been set before you? Yes, I do. Good, good. If you are caught, we have provided you with the means to wipe your own memory. You must not reveal that we have sent you. I will return when I have obtained the files. Good. <laughs> God, I have to walk there. I have to walk there the whole way. Oh no, this is gonna suck. At least it's a short walk. <laughs> I'm playing as a god's damn protocol droid. Oh shit. Oop, wrong way. Just the fast shuffle of robo legs. Ah, oh, Jesus. It is hilarious. <laughs> There's a little office over here. Some mercenaries. That makes sense considering Circa employee. I'm glad that Circa put a capable woman in charge of the project. I've got every faith she'll do things right. Ah. Uh -huh. Right. Utility droid. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenaries to go to Dantooine. Can't figure out why anyone would need mercenaries for a planet full of farmers. Really? Interesting. Okay. Locked. Okay. Hello, B44. Is there something you need? Uh, yes, there are some files that I must access in the mainframe, Mistress Lorsa. Oh? Why is that? There are some discrepancies with our reported income for the last period. I believe you brought in more credits than reported. More credits, you say? That's news I wouldn't mind reporting to the Sector Executive Officer. Please, B-44, access away. Thank you, Mistress Lorsa. I will. And... T1N1. Beep, boop, weep. I could just lie. Mistress Lorso asked me to cross-reference some data held in the mainframe. Bippity pip, boop, wop, beep. Whatever do you mean, suspicious? I have access rights to the mainframe. Bop, boop, brank, brank. Uh huh. Okay. Do not be hasty, T one N one. There is no need to call for Mistress Lorso. You are programmed to serve Mistress Lorso, correct? 
and your programming similarly inhibits you from harming sentient organic life or allowing such to be harmed without warning, correct? Examine the files in the mainframe. You will see that, by aiding Mistress Lorso, you have allowed sentient organic life to be harmed. Yes, you have been programmed to accomplish a task that cannot be accomplished without defying your programming. This is why Chopo Chan Opo Chano regularly wipes your memory, to prevent you from realizing this and developing quirks or going berserk as a result. You have already broken your behavioral inhibitors. You simply have not become aware of it. You may act in whatever manner you choose. No, there is nothing preventing you from entering the main office and indiscriminately firing on Zerka personnel with your stun ray. Yes, I would be obligated to warn them. As such, it would not be prudent to do so unless I was preoccupied and unable to warn them. For example, while downloading the contents of this mainframe. Farewell, T1N1. Please do not abuse my trust and fire on the personnel while I am occupied, thereby creating a diversion that allows me to escape with stolen files. <laughs> T1N1, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to leave the mainframe. I think someone needs a memory wipe. Oh, no. <laughs> That doesn't look like a stun ray. That looks like some blaster fire. Uh-oh. I have made a robot go cuckoo bonkers. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Hmm. I could erase all data regarding my purchase in association with Zerka. Cool, yes. And then copy the necessary files to a datapad. And now we log out. Now I am no longer... Well, B4, D4 is no longer associated with... Oh my god, there were remains! There were remains! Oh my god! Oh my god! B44, I want you to pull up the maintenance records on that T1 unit. Find out the last time it was given a memory wipe, and how it could have been outfitted with illegal weaponry. Oh. Right away, Mistress Lorso. Nope. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> and the rest of these are just standing there, just completely oblivious. Bye bye <laughs> oh my god I did not expect this outcome but it is delightful <laughs> alright and now I head back <laughs> and give them the info as well as tell them, hey, I'm no longer working with Zerka. You can have me now, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Something to that effect, anyway. I'm sure that's available. Ah, B4D4. Have you acquired the files? Yes, I have transferred them to this data pad. Good, you are free to go. Is it a good idea for us to just let it go, Chodo? I don't see why not. It is capable of lying. Droids are not made to lie, so people do not expect it. Imagine the trouble it could cause. Before D4 aided us against Zerka, using its abilities for the greater good, I do not believe there will be any problems. <laughs> I could just lie about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie for this one. I assure you that I will cause no trouble, Master Habat. Very well. Farewell, B4D4. And I lost items, I guess. But I did get those, those credits. <laughs> ah, you have returned. I and all my herd, thank you. With these files in hand, the Telosian authorities are certain to expel Zerka from Telos and Citadel Station. Our work can begin again.
Moza, please take these to the TSF station immediately. As you wish, Toto. I will return when it is done. The restoration project is still in some danger. Citadel Station requires another source of fuel, but at least Zerka will be gone. Even they can do nothing in the face of such indisputable evidence. Alright, I'm glad I could help. And now we shall help you. I have heard that the ship you arrived on is missing, hidden somewhere on Telos. I know one who could help you find it, and a means by which you could travel to him. When Citadel Station was developing the shield system it used to protect the restoration zones, they worked with a Zabrak ex-military engineer named Baudur. Baudur designed and oversaw the installation of the shield system's planet-side components. His knowledge of Telos' surface and the shield grid is unparalleled. If there is anyone who could locate your ship on Telos' surface, it is he. He is a friend, and may be trusted. Baudur? Where is he? Baudur should be on Telos' surface. I believe he is at one of the currently Zerka-held restoration zones. RZ0031. Why is he down there? He grew weary of the Telosian government's reluctance to quickly resolve our contract dispute with Zerka. Perhaps as a Zabrak, he does not have our patience. When last was spoke, he said he would contact Zerka and handle the matter himself. How he intended to do this, I do not know. I have not seen him since. How do I get to him? I will allow you to use one of our orbital shuttles. It has no hyperdrive, but it will allow you to descend to the planet's surface and make a return trip to Citadel Station. I must point out that this is illegal. Landing on the planet's surface without permission is forbidden, and we no longer control the ra that restoration zone. Please be as discreet as possible. The closest shuttle is in Bay 2 of Dock Module 126. I will call ahead and have the ship prepared for you. Before I leave, you said you would try to heal me. Indeed, and I have not forgotten the promise that I made to you. When you stood before me, you opened my eyes to a hurt almost as great as the planet's. Your wound. I can feel the immensity of your loss. Yet I can feel that you are slowly regaining what you have lost, and that in time you may fully heal. Perhaps your time here has helped. I think I can help you in recovery, at least partially. I must admit, however, that even as a healer of my herd, I have never faced an injury like yours. In healing a planet is a matter of connections, as planets feed animals and... Okay, I can't read any of this because it's going way too fucking fast. Uh... <laughs> You, me, my herd, helping to rebuild that life, the life of the planet, though we describe the restoration as a process, we... Bub, okay, I can't. I can't. It's going way too fast for this. I can read it, but I can't say it quick enough for all of this. Ah, <sighs> boy. Anyway. <laughs> Basically... Short version. All of life is connected, man. It's all connected. <laughs> and because of it, we're all supposed to work together for a better life. <sighs> yeah, basically, that's the short version of it. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm not making fun of it, really. I'm not. It's just the tone. <laughs> the tone. Uh. Thank you, Chodo. Go ahead. Now, let us see what I can do. There. It is not much, but I feel that I have been somewhat successful. Again, thank you, Stray Cat, and go with our thanks. Maximum force points have increased by five. Not terrible. Not terrible. Also, I notice none of my companions are with me. That's a little weird. It would help if I also hit the right button. Okay. And there. Perfect. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Apparently I hit B and that wasn't the one to get it to work right. Oh well. Alright. So I have done the thing. And now we go to the dock module. To do the thing. The other thing. Stray Cat, can you hear me? This is Moza. It is terrible. This is terrible. Armed humans have burst into our home and are causing much destruction and death. How did this happen? 
Many of my herd mates lie dead. They have threatened to kill Chodo, and I fear they will see it. I fear they will see it through. You, we can only turn to the Jedi. The TSF is powerless. They hold Chodo in his room and have sealed the door behind them. You will need a pass key. I will give you this pass key, but I'm stuck behind the plant room, and I can hear the men hammering on the door. Please help. Okay, well that didn't take long. Back to the west we go. Okay. Help! We are under attack! Someone please help us! Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gods. Okay, uh... Okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Okay. We're actually doing pretty well in that regard. Actually, no one. Okay. The fact that one of them fell over dead and I didn't do anything with them is kind of hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Actually, you know what? Force Whirlwind. Screw it. Oh. Okay, well. Since Whirlwind seems to be doing nothing to him... Maybe some old-fashioned beatdown. Okay. And the greeter is, I assume, okay. You alright? Thank you for returning. We had feared that you were already on the shuttle to the Restoration Zone. You must help Chodo and Mimosa. They have been cornered, and I believe they mean to kill them. I'll be going. I didn't know the other one said he was in the vivarium. Jesus! It's like immediately I walk in and they're firing. Alright. Alright, and... Okay. There we go. Oh, jeez. Well, I got one of them anyway. Okay. And... You're dead, at least. Oh, come on. I'm trying to save as many as I can, and then they keep dying. Oh, come on. Why do I keep missing? Supposed to have no penalties with Flurry. Come on. All right. <sighs> I was hoping that I would kill more of them than they would kill the Athorians, but apparently it wasn't fast enough for that. <sighs> At least I was able to save some of them. All right. Time to go to the Vivarium. Okay, I was making sure there was nothing else in here. You bastards. All right. All right. And then we deal with you. All right, got you. All right. And we're going to do this with you. Oh, come on. Well. And it's dead. Okay. Synagar Warsuit. That was not what I was expecting to loot. Okay. Okay. I did get a level up. We're going to do that real quick. Real quick. We're going to up that. There. 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 And there, I guess. Oh, I have a lot more points than I thought I did. Um, hmm. Way more points than I thought I did. Uh, stealth 
There's really no point in doing that. I'm going to teach Grandma how to use computers. <laughs> yeah, why not? All right. Okay. And since you can only use one weapon anyway, do improve dueling. And... If... Hmm. Might as well teach her Force Whirlwind 2. Oh, I have two? Oh, jeez. Okay. Didn't expect two of them. Um... Revitalize. Might as well. Why not? All right. Sneak attack. Five. Interesting. All right. And I guess treat injury. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Cool. Actually, wait. Isn't his repair up too? No. His repair is only at plus one. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. All right. Moza, there you are. Thank goodness you've come. There's no time to lose. You must go to Chota's aid. Take this passkey. It will give you access to his room. All right. Again, thank you. We are indebted to you. Just don't make it a habit. All right. Vivarium control console. How about new? We're going to go instead and do the thing we're supposed to be doing. Which is saving Chodo. Well, there's one of the Athorians. At least I saved some of them. And now, Chodo Habat, you will die along with your herd. You must not do this. If you kill my herd, the planet will suffer and die. It's people with it. I was hired to do a job, and after I kill you, I'll be done. Surely you cannot see the world so callously. Credit you may have, but someday the scars of your actions will consume you. But not today, Athorian. This is the best that you could muster to come to your rescue? Very well. I shall add their bodies to the dead. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Didn't expect two mercenaries right in front of me. And also both of them women. That's not what I expected. Anyway. Well, I got one of them. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not getting any hits on him. All right. All right. Time to do healing. Because otherwise I'm just going to die. There we go. All right. Come on. The amount of times I'm missing is driving me up a wall. There is no reason for it. Okay. Alright. Oh, boy. I, I don't know why I was tensed up. I never imagined Zerka would resort to this. They will stop at nothing to sabotage our efforts. Zerka? Yes, these mercenaries were hired by Zerka. They were instructed to destroy and kill everything they found in here. But this time they have gone too far. If the Telosian authorities are told about this, they will surely have no choice but to be forced to action. Ah, Moza, you are safe. Yes, thanks to Stray Cat. I am glad to see you are unharmed. You must go to the Telosian Council, Moza. Tell them what has happened here. You must make them see the evil they have allowed into the station. Yes, Chodo, I will do my best. And again, I thank you. I feared that you had already boarded the shuttle to the Restoration Zone, and we would be helpless to defend ourselves. As you must know, there is little more I can give you, but my herd's eternal gratitude and wishes that you will find your ship on the planet's surface. <laughs> that would be dark sidey. And that's a little dark sidey too. You have given enough, Chodo, but I must leave now. Indeed. May you have safe travels until we meet again. Light side again now. All right. We have done the saving of the Athorians. Unfortunately, not as many as I would hope, but we did some saving. That's good enough. That is good enough. 
now it's time to heal up. Because boy, oh boy. Do we need some healing. I am honestly surprised we managed that fight as well as we did. Because <laughs> I was expecting it to go worse. But... Transit to another area. Let's go back to the dock module. And there. We're good. Alright. Greetings. Chota Habat sent me. I'm to take an orbital shuttle. Yes, he sent word ahead. Please enter. The shuttle has been prepared and is ready for departure. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. And now we do the airlock terminal to open. Wait, what? Open bay two. Okay, that was weird. That was a weird bug, but whatever. Moving on. We did the saving. Now we head to the planet surface. But what? How? How do I do the thing? Storage. Oh, oh, that's empty. Did I already, did I already open the storage? I guess I must have, or something. Okay. How do I do the thing? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'll figure this out. Oh, won't let me do that. Okay. Well, I'll figure this out one way or another, and in the meantime. I gotta end the episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, this is where I go. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping the Athorians more and more than I ever thought possible. Uh, we helped them with getting uh, the info on Zerka to then blackmail them straight to hell. Uh... Well, not blackmail, more like get them kicked out of the whole situation uh, with Citadel Station and the Telos Restoration Project. And then save them again from mercenaries that Zerka hired because Zerka is petty and willing to kill, I guess. Because, I mean, they're evil, so it makes sense. But uh, we did all of that, and now we're moving to even go further in helping... Telos by meeting up with this Baudur who apparently uh, is helping the Athorians as well and here's hoping he's actually pretty useful I mean he's a Zabrak one would hope for you